Welcome to the Win Air Video October construction update for the Gordie Howe Bridge Project. It's October 24th, 2025, and there's plenty to cover this month. I thought we could start this update with an incident that happened on the 29th of September. It's a funny story, but begs to ask how this could happen at the most secure border between the USA and Canada. This article was written by Adele Lucelle on October 21st, 2025. Truck transport accidentally gets early ride on Gordie Howe International Bridge. Traffic isn't supposed to be allowed on the Gordie Howe International Bridge until early next year, but a truck driver inadvertently got an early trip. The Canada Border Services Agency confirms a transport truck got on the bridge from the USA side on September 29th. Border officers intercepted the transport truck before it reached the Canadian port of entry, and the driver was directed back to the US. The truck was able to access the bridge even though there were multiple security barriers. No firearms were drawn during this incident and the driver was advised to cross the border at the Ambassador Bridge. A strange story to be sure. I wonder if that trucker understands he just made history as a first commercial traffic to cross the Gordie Howe Bridge. The highly anticipated Gordie Howe Bridge will not meet its previously projected opening date. Recent news confirms a delay announced by project officials, citing outstanding work on the intelligent tolling infrastructure and the cross-border facility readiness. The new timeline pushes the bridge opening well into 2026, impacting logistics planning for regional transport and businesses. As of today, formal toll rates for the Gordie Howe Bridge have not been publicly finalized. The Windsor-Detroit Bridge Authority continues negotiations and market studies, with officials emphasizing transparency and an intent to keep rates competitive with nearby international crossings. Without established toll rates, Transport companies remain in a holding pattern as they forecast their future operating costs. There's a lot more to share, but before we start, I would like to ask for your subscription. These videos do take time and money to produce. By subscribing, you help the channel reach more like-minded people. It is free and helps with the little advertising commission when Air Video receives. So if you haven't already, please subscribe. It means a lot and I really do appreciate it. Thanks. Concerns over budget overruns have surfaced especially given prolonged delays and recent inflation-related costs for imported materials. Official statements now suggest that the bridge may not remain strictly on budget, with estimates indicating additional funding will be required for unseen cross-border infrastructure upgrades and security enhancements. Stakeholders are watching closely as the final financial tally shapes up 
and Canada's Infrastructure Ministry has signaled it will release a detailed breakdown once all factors are clarified. Ongoing trade tensions between Canada and the United States have direct impacts on the bridge's completion and operations. New tariffs imposed on construction, steel and modular equipment have led to higher prices for key components, further straining the project's budget and delaying procurement schedules. To further deepen the conflict, Ontario Premier Doug Ford ran an advertisement in the U.S. that prompted Trump to raise tariffs across the board on Canada by 10%. When and how this insanity will end is anybody's guess. Until that time, both of our country's citizens will continue to suffer with higher prices and continued job losses. The only light in the continuing conflict is this too shall pass. The quicker the better in my opinion. Both governments have issued statements expressing hope that the bridge will foster improved economic relations, though industry voices caution that unresolved disputes could undermine the benefits during the initial years of operation. American media coverage reflects a mix of anticipation and skepticism, with some sentiment shifting towards concern over rising toll rates and potential board waiting times. U.S. industry leaders emphasize a bridge's vital role in restoring efficient North American supply chains, while also voicing frustration over prolonged delays and trade headaches. Meanwhile, Canadian perspectives remain largely positive, focusing on the bridge's economic promise and the potential for new trade opportunities but also expressing anxiety around cost escalation and shifting border policies. At its heart, the Gordie Howe Bridge stands as both a literal and symbolic connection during an era of trade conflict. The hope among policymakers is that this new crossing helps cool bilateral tensions and reopens direct robust dialogue on mutual prosperity. Experts suggest that despite short-term friction, enhanced infrastructure like the Gordie Howe Bridge will prove essential for the long-term economic and diplomatic relationship between Canada and the United States. Share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for joining this month's Win Air Video Update. Subscribe like, comment, and hype to keep the videos coming. This is Bob Jones, and I will see you in the next video.